M30i. All right. <laughs> and it's 211 bucks. And it, it's good stuff. That's a, a great little thing. This one is our Chinese uh, version of the same thing. And I would love to report that, of course, it not being American and being it, Chinese, that this is no a good. cheap piece That's of right. crap and you want to avoid it. Unfortunately, <laughs> this baby's a monster. <laughs> also, a sealed case, finned aluminum, heat sink. Much simpler goes in as and goes out as you've got two, uh, two wires in uh, with an inline fuse holder I like uh, for your traction pack and two wires out. One of them's for ground, one of them's for 12 volts. Again, Simple. it does 13 and a half volts. They have them in a bunch of different sizes. All right. The range on them that you get is not as, as big. This is a 108 volt model, about 95 volts. This one crumbles. Okay. Um, it will do. Uh, we tested it at 112. It works fine. Right. So it's got a little bit of range there, not as right. wide a range of input voltage as a sure power. At 100 volts, and this is a 108 volt unit. The the most current I can test is 38 amps. This thing's still doing like 12.8 <laughs> volts. And putting out 38 yeah. amps, and I let it run for a half hour, and it didn't even get hot. Wow. Um, yeah. This is a monster. Yeah. A 25 amp unit that does 38 amps. Um, and it was in testing these three, the IOTA, the SurePower, and this one. This was the highest efficiency unit as well. Uh, about wow. at, at 15, 20 amps, it's, you know, it's claimed sort of range area. This thing's over 85% efficient. And by that, I mean, you put in uh, uh, 100 watts of um, uh, uh, power from your uh, pack battery, and you get out about 85 watts at 12 volts. 12 volts, yeah. Um, and that's 85% that's efficient. Um, of course, there's a curve at 5 amps. It's about 75%. It goes up to 85 and then falls off pretty substantially by the time you get to 38 amps. But I, I ran this for a half hour with a 38 amp output, which was the most I could do with my constant current load. Right. Um, and it took a little abuse, too, I think, before we tested yeah, it. Yeah, I hooked it up backwards <laughs> once. Uh, it's uh, apparently pretty well corrected. That's right. Uh, corrected. Um, That's right. Um, uh, uh, pretty pretty good protection circuitry in it. <laughs> it's a HWZ1 model. Would you believe this puppy's 149 bucks? And I got it in one week from Kelly. Uh, it's uh, www.newkellycontroller.com. Uh, we use the controller. I didn't even know this existed. For the next speedster, this will be our uh, DC to DC converter. 149 bucks. I probably got 600 in the homemade job one we built. Yeah. I put in yeah. there. Plus a relay, it may be more than that. Yeah. Uh, this thing, uh, $149. We probably won't even need a battery. Right. If we do, the batteries are 75. Right. I'd do that before I'd put in a second one. But I think this little thing, $149, cheapest of the three. Um, the highest output while maintaining voltage. Uh, good voltage regulation, the highest efficiency, and uh, while it has to come from China, I can get it in half the time that I can get any of this stuff <laughs> from America. Yeah. It's discouraging. I want you to get me a copy of that Rosetta Stone. We've got to learn, <laughs> got to learn Mandarin. some Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> so that's DC to DC converters. The good news is there really hasn't been a low voltage uh, DC to DC converter that I've been able to find till recent weeks um, at a reasonable cost. And you got two to pick from here now. This Sure Power, not very many places carry this. They're right. kind of an right. O, you know, a lot of these American guys, they want to sell 100 Brazilian of them to an OEM. I found it through ASE Supply, it's the only place I could find it, but 211 bucks. Not bad. About 235 shipped. This one's coming from Kelly Controllers. Now, they have a 12-volt version and a 13-and-a-half-volt. Again, the <laughs> Chinglish is kind of in the way. I think they think, the Chinese think that uh, we use 12 volts. And, and, but they got a better idea. If you've used 13-and-a-half, it'd work better. 
Uh, we, this is our fault. We call it 12 volts. Right. It's 13, 13 and a half and volts right. is what you need for your system. <laughs> Certainly if you're going to use a battery and keep it charged up. And that's, you know, if you have a bigger electrical system, you get one of these little motorcycle batteries, they'll put out 100, 200 amps, you know, mm. for a little while. Um, and, and then after the surge of turning on your headlights or whatever goes away, this little puppy That'll putting take out, care. you know, 30, 35 amps will kind of charge it back. Yeah. And it makes a good combo. It'll mm -hmm. work fine. The question is, can you get away without the battery at all? And in most cases, you can't. Um, so, yeah, they have a 12 and 13 and a half volt, volt version. You want the 13, 13 and a half, of course. <laughs> and you have to pick one that kind of matches your uh, pack. And about 144 volts, you run out. That's it. Uh, there's, yeah. there's neither of these will work with a uh, uh, 375 volt system like the Mini. So we're stuck with my homemade version for right now. Um, and again, you can get these Vicor bricks for the uh, high voltage things because the, <laughs> the 144 volt version of these just really aren't out there. So you gotta order, gotta order them new. and buy and them new. It's 275 bucks for a brick. The 300 volt version to 12 volt, um, they use in computer systems, big computer yeah, systems. Yeah, they're all over the place. They'll, they'll have yeah. you know, 30 of these in a, in a, in a rack. Um, so they come up surplus for a lot, on, a lot of times on eBay. Uh, I've seen them, I bought them from anywhere from 20 bucks a piece for 10 of them um, yeah. to uh, probably a high of 40 or 45 dollars. They're simple to hook up. There's uh, good information on the Vicor website oh, yeah. with data sheets and so forth. Uh, you're just soldering the inputs and the outputs, maybe putting in a fuse, a relay, a relay. switch. You do need to mount them on some aluminum heat sink to get rid of that heat. If you want them to put out that 200 watts, it doesn't do it by itself. Right. You have to have it clamped down, thermal grease, and get some uh, heat sink under it. And then it'll do this, uh, well, these I used in here put out 350 watts. I think I've got four of them in there. And I I put this on the bench, not a constant current, well, actually a constant current load, no measurement on it. I measured the voltage. It kept the voltage up and did 120 amps out into just my big dummy load um, for over an hour. Yeah, that one's going to... But it's fan cool, the yeah. heat sink, all that. Um, and so you kind of build those yourself. But that's, uh, that's the best I can do on the high end, uh, high voltage end. But on the low voltage end, anything under 150 volts. Some good stuff out there now. Yeah, yeah. these two are, you know, we, we, there's really not much out there. We've had to dig this out. Right. Now, now, now you get now it. there is. Yeah. Here's the knowledge. Yeah. The Kelly is actually, uh, and I've seen a lot of people suspect these and, and talk, oh, you know, that's no good. It's a bunch of Chinese. This is actually... Way over spec, way over spec. A lot better voltage regulation, um, hugely better current output. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure you couldn't get 50 amps out of this. It never did quit never on. Never did really stop. Yeah. The Sure Power is a quality unit, very durable, uh, good regulated output. Maybe mm -hmm. a little bit better than the um, um, uh, Kelly, but um, uh, not quite as efficient and. When they say 30 amps, they mean 30. Uh, I got to do 35 for a little. Just yeah, a little but not bit. long. Yeah. When I went to 38, <laughs> this it. thing cracked. And then when I when it was hot and I'd go back and try to get it to do 35, it, it wouldn't. Couldn't happen. fire it up again. No. Yeah. So that's DC to DC converters. What else are we going to talk about today? Well, we could talk about uh, our new motor and controller that we're uh, looking at for our, uh, our project. We were talking about the Speedster 2. Uh, let's get it out here and, and show them what we got. This is kind of cool. 